Hey guys, it's Ape Me Rain. You are looking awesome, beautiful today. G Skills Trident Z RGB RAM and Corsair's Vengeance Pro RGB RAM, both very cool, both very different. How are they different? That is the big question, and why you guys are here today is all about the LED difference. And this video is all about the LED difference and the software. I kind of go through both. Um, if you watch this video, I'm going to put a little card in now. That is the part one to this video. All it does is explain the physical differences between the both RAMs and kind of explain why I have both. In this video though, I really do like just a, just a casual kind of video just showing the different softwares and the different lightings. My friend who I'm building his PC for used my RAM and we are both just kind of just bench testing our computers and seeing if his you know, works better than mine, which it does. So we just kind of do that and have a bunch of fun doing it. But I made a really quick video just kind of showing the lighting differences. I could have had the computers next to each other, but I didn't really like, I, I could have done this better. But hope you guys enjoy. You guys really wanted a video just explaining the RGB. So here it is. All right, here's both rigs. We just benched both of these guys. Um, I'll show you guys the scores, but really quickly going to show you guys the actual RGB on the Trident G-Skill RAM. As you can see right now, it is just set to white, and I know it's really hard to see with this beautiful Wraith Ripper in the way. But as you can see, I have both the softwares up. Right now we have the ROG on this side and the, the Asus Aura. They're both Aura, but they're both the same software on different motherboards. On the Corsair, which is the IQ software, I have just a static white that is fully illuminated. So here's like the fully illuminated white, also really hard to see with a uh, just a normal camera on my phone. But you can kind of see that there is a bit of backlight bleed from the other colors when it's on its highest setting. If I'm gonna turn it down, so as you can see this little clock here, I could bring down the light maybe halfway, and yet, as you can see, it'll change. A little more is kind of showing through. It's, it's very faint, but you can definitely tell. So if I want to test something else, maybe let's go just full rainbow. So I'm going to go over here and just do, actually, let's do just color cycle just so I can apply for this RAM. And as you can see, it changes pretty quickly. I don't know if you saw, but now it's going through its color cycle. The G skill over here. If I go to Corsair's RAM, go to just rainbow, it is the color cycle. So as you can see, it'll change a lot slower. There it goes. So if, I, if there's about maybe a three to five second delay in Corsair's, we click dark, which is off. So if I say dark, it takes a lot longer. So if I do that again, so go to white, there's your delay right there. So if I go back to Auras, yet again, I'm just gonna click off, right? Clicking now, boom, instant. The other great feature it has is this sync at shutdown, which if you have off, if this computer, if Austin shuts off his computer when it is in the off just mode, it will completely turn completely black when he goes to bed. Sadly, when I go to bed, this doesn't have anything like that. So I can actually show you guys just to end the video is just maybe just put it to sleep. As you can see, this turns off. This goes through its just kind of rainbow loop. The graphics card that I'm running right now, the, the Poseidon, it's LED and the actual like, you know, um, Asus motherboard light that kind of goes around also turns off because that's on AuraSync. But guess what doesn't turn off? Yeah, mm is right. So really quickly realize that a lot of light is actually bleeding into the actual RGB RAM strip. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna change to dark. We're gonna close that down. I'm gonna open the Aura Sync here. I'm gonna say yes. Um, for this, I'm gonna turn off the RGB logo. On, if you wanna see Wraith Ripper's software, boom, there it is right there. You can customize like each strip to do different things. Maybe I can make a whole video on that. Turning those off, go back to IQ on Prometheus, which is this computer's name and go to dark. So if I can focus just to show you guys, boom, we're both in dark mode. When this ups and I can turn this off. So those lights should boom, shut down everywhere. We're gonna solve some rainbow. Let's do a solid color of red. 
basic red. Let's just make them all red and as bright as possible. So there's kind of the red that's coming out of there. Whoa. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to, oh geez, the Wraith Ripper's so big. I'm gonna go to his software and go to static color. And we're going to apply the red. We're gonna see if that kicks in. Uh, did it actually kick in? Let's go back to default. Okay, so had to click this reset button a few times just to get the RAM kind of working with the software. But I'm gonna stand back and show this brightness first, just how it's illuminating, and then this brightness for this RAM. So in camera, it looks pretty similar as far as the like deep color of, of red that's coming off of that, right in that center. These fins do kind of subdue the color a bit. This red again, and we're gonna do just a blue. So I'm actually just gonna quickly just click blue here. So as you can see this delay, watch that delay. Oh, so long where I could just click blue here, if you can see, um, right. I mean, you can probably, I don't know how I can show all this, but if I click blue here, you can see that, oh, I have to click apply. So once you click apply, there you go, almost instantly. So, and there's that nice blue. So coming back, showing both those. Yeah, <coughs> there they, what? <laughs> all right, and dimming, so I can get this to be, vi Basically, let's go like halfway. Let's do halfway on both. It's about halfway, so there's it on halfway, and I can even go a little bit, kind of one fourth there. So there's kind of a, the dimmer mode here. Brightness here, I can go halfway. This has a nice little kind of ticker to it, so if I apply, yeah. there's kind of the dimmer there. You kind of barely can see it, and if I even go lower, Ooh, there's, it's getting re, it's almost getting like a purple. Sun's and there's, down. sun's going down. So if I go a little higher, there it is. Cool. There's kind of their low, low profiles there. Beautiful though. And I just wanted to include one more thing before you guys go is uh, I'm gonna pop it up right here on the screen. If you could actually see the G Skill RAM actually runs 10 to almost 20 degrees cooler than Corsair's. And um, this is another crazy thing because I, I, I think I had that prediction first that the the actual like heat sinks on the G Skill RAMs were much higher quality than kind of what Corsair was using. And I thought, you know, I thought, I thought it would work out because the dims were a lot bigger on Corsairs, but you know, they're both cool RAMs. I still don't have a choice with which one I like better because I like software better on one of them. I like, you know, the lighting better on another. It's crazy. I'm, if you guys are trying to make this decision, please let me know in the comments, anything I can help you with. If you're still confused about something, um, really what pushed me to the Corsair one was just the white color for my build. So, but yeah. Guys, let me know if I should do anything else, do another co color comparison, or, or if you wanna see like, I could just do another video with the computers next to each other. That's probably not too hard to do, but just let me know. This should be the end of the series just on the, these these RAMs, because I so much stuff is online about these two RAMs, but no one is answering any of my questions. It's all just about benchmarks. And I'm like, there's, they're, <sighs> not ranting. Guys, stay awesome and beautiful, and hope I'll see you once again.